individual to reject modern day living for a life of freedom in the brutal Alaskan wilderness. There's no resources, there's no power grid, we're on our own. Wander into the land of extreme to meet the fiercest inhabitants as they battle for survival. Discover how food unites people across cultures and ethnicities. All new, this is a national geographic network. Back in the day, Tibet was considered an island of misfits, looked down upon by other Venetians. Today, much like Brooklyn, New York, it's become a hip, cool place where people in the know like to go. I meet a family with deep roots on the island. Fabio and his wife, Valentina, have been running the restaurant, Osteria Aibogi, for the last 10 years. They took over the family's simple fisherman's bar and transformed it into a restaurant that offers up beautiful dishes that are a fusion of Venetian, Southern Italian, and Asian cuisine. The family comes from a long line of fishermen. Manuele tells me that his family has fished in this area for the last 500 years. 83 years old, they're still fishing. His father started fishing, continuing in the family legacy. There were 60 fishermen families here in Judea. Now, they're the only family left fishing, but have embraced the changing times and bring tourists out on their boats to experience their family's legacy firsthand. <laughs>
all that day, but we use that to our advantage when it comes to making the sauce.
stability when we're going fast. Step four, super styling or super modern. We need to mix retro and modern.
down is to put the lids onto the barrels. The guys are coming through right now and they're capping the barrel. Where he harvests hot peppers and cultivates specific types to sell around the world. 